And welcome to the Central Kids Show. I'm Joshua Carrillo, and this is Mikey. Hey kids, welcome back to the Central Kids Show. So happy to see you guys. I'm so glad to see you on the show today. Uh, we are going to be talking about Paul's conversion. Ooh, I like convertibles. Convertibles? Yeah, like the cars. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a conversion. What does conversion mean? It means when somebody uh, changes their life to be with Christ. Oh, I have a story too, but I'll tell you later. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and ask your parents permission if you can do it. Hey kids, we're at 12 subscribers and if we reach 25 subscribers, I'm gonna sing a song with my mouth. What kind of song? I bet you were gonna say what kind of mouth. Oh yeah, what mouth do you have a mouth? It doesn't matter. La 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 la! Well, sounds good. Yeah! Okay, so before we start the show, let's begin in prayer. Ooh. So I'll pray or do you pray? You can pray, Mikey. Okay, kids, if you don't know how to pray, it's really simple. You're just mm -hmm. talking to God and say whatever you need. Now, there's a lot of kids who have maybe problems in the house, or maybe the grandparents are sick, or maybe somebody in your family is not feeling well. And we can pray to God and He hears all of our prayer. So it's a very simple use. You should, I just want you to repeat with me, okay? So close your eyes so we can focus. And we say, Jesus, Jesus. help me today. You, you can repeat it. Jesus, Jesus, help me today. Help me today. With all of my things to do. With all of my things to do. Help my mommy and my daddy. Help my mom and my daddy. Help all my family. Help all my family. And bless this service today. And bless this service today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now that we have prayed, it's time for our song. Oh, the song of the day. I'm I know you like the song. Yes, today's song is a workout. Ooh. Let's so let's go there and Get our praise on!
That was a great song. I really liked it. Wow! Oh, that you okay? song was so hyper. But I was true. jumping up and down. You know, well, one of my favorite parts was that Jesus is bigger than a superhero. That is true. He's bigger than Superman. Yep. Greater than the Hulk. Mm-hmm. And bigger than Darth Vader. Darth Vader is not a superhero. In my book, he is. Uh... <coughs> well then, <laughs> it's time to concentrate and calm down after that great song because it's time for our lesson. Yeah. We're gonna oh, be. I'm a, I'm a... Yeah. We're gonna be talking about Paul's conversion, like I said at the beginning. Yes, Paul's convertible. What? Conversion. Ooh. Conversation. What? The miracle of mercy, Paul. This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way. And as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up, and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. That was such a cool lesson. It was so interesting. It really was. You know, Paul's conversion is really nice because he was kind of like a mean guy, mm -hmm. and then something happened to him, yeah. and he changed. You know, it means that everybody can change. It doesn't matter how mm -hmm. bad you are, right? Yeah, that's true. You know, I have a story. Really? Yeah. I was a bad boy. What? Yeah, I wasn't the mm. nicest of my microphone. I would, you know, I would sometimes let people sing songs that were not nice in me. Singing songs that were not nice and saying not nice words and then Jesus came to my heart, and now I, I only sing church music. That's good. Yeah. And just like Paul, uh, I'm, uh, how do you say it again? Converted? Yes. Conversion. 
<laughs> Close enough. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's what happened to me. Have you converted? Yes. That's nice. Have you converted, kids? I oh. hope so. That's interesting. Maybe we can pray at the end of this. So if anybody has it, they can ask Jesus in their hearts. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. You know who else has Jesus in their hearts? Who? Wes. That's true. So Wes is up next. That is true. Let's go to Wes the Lemur to see what he has to say about missions. Welcome back to Mission Time with Wes the Lemur. I'm your host, Wes Lee, and I'm, I'm a lemur. And people think for some reason they don't know what I am. So let me explain to you. This is a beautiful lemur. That's who I am. A ringed lemur. But I am not a rat. No. That's a rat. I know. I'm shocked at people thinking that I'm a rat. So I just want to explain to you that I am a lemur. Anyways, back to the Mission Time show. We got a great show today talking about Japan. So I've got a little video for you. I hope you enjoy it. Many, many people in Japan have never even heard of, of Jesus um, at all, heard nothing of the Gospel. I, I found this out and I was um, massively shocked really that um, a country as um, modern and as exciting and as uh, fun as Japan could be in, in a position where they haven't heard the Gospel. Wasn't that amazing to see all those people singing Waymaker? So beautiful to be listening that song in Japanese. You know, these people in Japan also have great food. Like they have a ramen noodle soup. You probably have had it before, it tastes delicious with the noodles. But you maybe not tried sushi with fresh fish and sticky rice. And you know, for dessert, they also use sticky rice and fill it with like delicious bean custard and sweet stuff. Maybe you'll try it one time. You know, the Church of Nazarene in Japan has 68 churches. You say, wow, that's a lot of churches. But you know, they have 126 million people. 126 million people and only 68 churches of the Nazarene. We need more missionaries over there. So maybe you say, but I don't speak Japanese. God can teach you. Maybe you go to a school, you learn some Japanese, you go over to Japan have some food, play with some friends. You don't know, God has a great plan for you. So next time you think about another country, think about Japan, you pray, say maybe God will send me one day to Japan. So kids, keep on praying. Until next time, this is Wes the Lemur saying goodbye. That was really cool learning about Japan. It was really cool. I like learning about the country. Me too. I like all the stuff 
from Japan. Like what? Like Dragon Ball Z. What? And Pokemon. I mean, I guess these are pretty good shows. <laughs> and I like ramen noodles. I like ramen noodles too. I like slurping ramen noodles. That's actually respectful to slurp ramen noodles over there. Yeah, I like going... Um... Uh, you enjoying the soup? I do. Hey, you know what else I like? What? The, the sushi. Ooh, me too. Ooh, you like sushi? Yes. What, what type of sushi? Um... Salmon. Ooh, salmon is good. You know what I like? What? Sashimi. Me too. You like sashimi? Yes. What is sashimi? Raw fish. You like raw fish? Haha, <laughs> you like a bear. You're eating it with your bare hands and eating raw fish with your teeth and ah. <laughs> Anyways, that be that in, <laughs> in Japan, but also here in San Antonio. That is true. Hey kids, do you want to try raw fish? Hmm, sounds interesting. Nope. These kids are going, look, look. Is that nice? Mm, not really. You know, in different countries they eat different foods. And so, each food is very nice to eat. Maybe you don't like it, but they do, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I that. really enjoyed it. Yeah. You know what? All that food is making me kind of full of energy. Mm-hmm. We should go do our craft now. It is craft time. Craft time! Woo! Let's go! Sorry, that's trademark. We're gonna have to do the whole thing again. Hi kids, and welcome to Craft Time. I'm Pastor Carolina, and I'm so excited that you're here with me today. For today, it's a special craft because there is no printout, and guess what? Everybody has the materials that they need for the craft. Hmm, how is that possible? Well, Today, we are going to use recyclable materials. What does that mean? Well, it means that anything that it's in your house, that there is no use for it anymore, then we can use that material to do our craft today. So, I need you to ask an adult in the home, if you have a recycling bin, which I hope you do, uh, ask an adult to help you. And we can do our craft today with a recycled uh, milk, uh, jug or we can use a empty uh, water bottle or anything that is plastic that resembles any of the material that you see here so we can use any of that and let's say you don't have any plastics that you can recycle that's okay as well then I'm pretty sure you have a piece of paper or cardboard from a cereal box that we can use the reason why we are using recycled material today is to make the point that what we think is not good anymore can actually be turned out into something very, very nice. And that's to help us remember that when we think something is not good in the hands of somebody that can make it look better, it's always precious. And that's to remind you about the Bible story we were learning today about Paul, how he was transformed. So while you go or your adults go and get the recycling material for you, I want to remind you of the Bible verse of today. So I need you to read it with me. So uh, let's see if we can read it together. So at the end of the craft, we repeat it so that we memorize this Bible verse. Ready? Let's get your Bibles. Second of Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed. Behold, the new has come. All right, kids. So I went to my recycling bin and I found a water bottle that I could use. And also last week, leftover. So I'm going to be using these materials, my scissors, my uh, permanent markers, uh, and this will be my recycling material. If you have something that looks different, that's fine. So I can't wait to see pictures of what you have done and what your butterfly is made out of. Okay, so let's get started.
Okay, so now that we have cut our butterfly, if you want, you can do the other half with the design. But once you have that finish, we can put it underneath our plastic bottle, if you chose to do that. If not, just draw on the cardboard and color it, okay? So we are going to put the butterfly underneath the plastic and now draw and now draw on the plastic the outline of the butterfly so we can cut it from here. Ready? Let's do it. I've cut my butterfly now. Next, I'm going to paint it. And to paint it, I have decided not to use my permanent markers, but instead I'm going to use my leftover uh, nail polish. So if you have an adult in the home, that has some of this that they don't need, you can ask them if you can use them. If not, you can use your permanent markers to color and design your butterfly so we can fold it and then see the end result. Let's get to painting it. Okay, so here's my butterfly and I decided to color it with leftover um, nail polish, but you can do it with permanent marker and now I have something to put on my night table or um, as a decoration on my garden to remind me that God makes us new creatures, that we can make new things. He makes all things new. I hope you enjoyed this project. I had a lot of fun making that craft. It was really interesting to see how they use the recycling stuff to make beautiful butterflies. It's kind of like the lesson because they took Saul, which was seemed to be very bad, but then God changed him so that he can do stuff and really preach the word of God to other people. Yeah, he was converted, transformed, mm -hmm. even say metamorphosis is science. What? Metamorphically. Metamorphosis. Well, you know, the word means change or transform, like a caterpillar to a butterfly. You get the drift. Come on, man. Work Very, with me. Work with me. Very scientific. Scientistic. Okay. Hey, isn't it time to do that dance song again? Yeah, it is time to do the song again. Okay, kids, don't forget to stretch because this song is super hyper and I guess we'll be singing and it's hyper and it's hyper. He uh, really likes the song. Yes, this one is very funny. Fun song. Let's just go to the song. Song. Ah! <laughs>
was a great song. Oh, what? That's an amazing song. <laughs> um, hey, why are you standing on your head? Why are you upside down? Oh, oh yeah! I was, I was just dancing so much, I forgot to put myself right. Um, uh, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. Whoa! You look a lot better, Mikey. Thank you. So do you. You look much better, too. Well, I guess I don't look upside down to you. I guess you've changed. Mm, not really. Well, yeah. Well, I guess I've changed because my perspective is different. That's true. Just like Jesus changed my heart and Jesus changed Paul's heart, he changed me. Mm -hmm. When you put, when you allow Jesus to come into your heart, you put on new glasses. Like my glasses. Yeah, and then you get to be able to see better and see through godly eyes. Ooh, that's nice. That's been an amazing story today. It was an amazing story. I had a, so much fun today. Me too, but it's time to end the show. This time I'm not too sad. Why? Because I know that next week we're going to be back here at the same channel. We are going to be back. Yeah. And we're going to have another great story and more great music and even a better looking Joshua. What? You are kind of not nice today. Mm. Your hat seems to be a little bit twisted. What? Are you covering a bad haircut? No. Oh, no, you, whatever. You lied to me. You got a bad haircut and you're wearing a hat to cover it. Hey, kids, he's got a bad haircut. Maybe <laughs> next week you'll have a nice haircut so all the kids can see a fresh haircut. Fresh? Yes, fresh. Anyways, kids, hopefully you come back next week. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Splice. Stay fresh. Fresh. <laughs>